Watch this video till the end because all the tips I have given in this video are very important and not knowing them may slow down your reading process or might even lead to you losing some marks in your exam. Biochemistry A subject which most of the medical students misunderstand and think that it is very complex and tough to understand but in this video I will not only change your opinion on the subject but I will make you confident enough that you will learn this subject and you can clear the subject without any fear. Hi, I'm Akhil Raj, a second year MBBS student studying at Gandhi Medical College Sikindrabad which is the top medical college in our state and I have managed to score a distinction in both anatomy and biochemistry in my first year university exams so trust me, I can help you with this. Biochemistry is a very dry and volatile subject and I know most of you wouldn't like the subject as much as you like physiology or anatomy where you can actually see real life applications and you can relate to the subject. But the truth is most of the medical students score highest marks in biochemistry when compared to other subjects in their final exams. So now let's see how you can also remember this boring subject and convert it into your strong suit. First, making use of previous year questions. I've said it in my previous video on how to score distinction in anatomy and I'm saying it again. Take your textbook and mark all the important questions which have been asked in your universities in the past 10 years. You can do this by buying a question bank from the market or you can ask your seniors because 90% of the question paper comes from previous year questions and they can be very helpful. If you are from Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, I have left a link in the description for a telegram channel known as Times Medico where you can find all the PDFs of the previous year questions asked in our universities. Now that you know what to read, let's see how to read. Understanding the Mark Distribution Biochemistry has many topics in the syllabus which you have to read but unlike other subjects, there is a huge difference in Mark Distribution among these topics. So, let's categorize them into high scoring and low scoring topics. Among the high scoring ones, there are few topics which can be easily studied and few topics which are a bit lengthy and difficult to study. So, the easy ones are enzymes, nutrition and diet, electrolyte and acid base balance. And the lengthy and a little bit difficult ones are molecular biology, vitamins, minerals and all the metabolisms. And the rest of the topics topics are not as high scoring as these topics are but that doesn't mean you leave them and go to exam all directly. So keep listening to understand what you will do. Now your first task is to complete the high scoring and the easy topics which are enzymes. Enzymes is a topic which is very similar to chemistry which I have already completed in class 11th and class 12 so it should not be a problem. Nutrition has very few questions and you can read it off very easily and it is also easy to understand. And coming to acid base balance, it has very few questions, but if you don't understand acidosis and alkalosis, I have left a link in the description to Rajesh Jambulgar sir's channel where he has uploaded a video on almost every single topic you need to learn for your exam and you can go and check out his channel and you can learn all the topics from him. Now that you are done with the easy topics, let's see the lengthy and difficult ones. In most of the cases in your paper, you will get both the LAQs from these topics and a lot of SAQs and also VSAQs from these topics. So let's see how to study these topics. Mastering flowcharts and cycles. I know you feel irritated when you see all those flowcharts, cycles and lengthy lengthy processes which involve a lot of enzymes and cofactors which you have to remember but it is so hard to remember and you keep forgetting them and it keeps irritating you. So to avoid this feeling, whenever you pick up a topic, go to YouTube and open Rajesh sir's channel or any other YouTube channel which you like and listen a video explanation on that particular topic. Even if you don't know anything, just listen the video with full concentration. After doing that, open your textbook and start reading the flowchart or cycle associated to that topic. Just read the steps given in the flowchart or the cycle one by one and the enzymes and the cofactors involved in them. Now, after doing this, you will have a basic idea of what's going on in the topic in the first place. So now, go on and start reading the text associated with that topic in the textbook. And as you read every step, look at where and how that step is being represented in the flowchart or the cycle. By doing this, you will develop a concept of how one step works and how it is leading to the next step. After doing all this, you will have a clear idea of what is going on in the topic and you will understand the topic. But now in order to remember it, take a notebook and start drawing that flowchart or that particular cycle in that notebook by seeing from your textbook. After that, close the textbook and start drawing that flowchart or cycle in the same notebook without seeing. Now, you will commit some mistakes, there is no problem in that. Until you can master that flowchart or cycle without seeing and you draw it perfectly with all the enzymes correctly, keep practicing in the same notebook. By doing this, you will master the cycles and flowcharts and also it will help you in the long run and also before your exams and I will tell you why. Moving on to the next point, values, limits and drugs and other volatile points. There are a lot of biological limits, values and other drug names which you have to remember in biochemistry. So take some stick notes or a small sheet of paper for every single chapter and start writing all those volatile points, the drugs, the limits, the biological values and all the points which you cannot remember from the chapter into a single sheet which you can glance through very easily before any kind of exam. 
I'm telling you to do this because in long answer questions they will give you a clinical case where you have to assess the reports of the patients and you will be given some values. You have to understand that whether the values are normal or they are abnormal and based on that your diagnosis depends and your answer also depends. So knowing the values and other important things are very important and also these can be asked in MCQs or other VSAQ questions. Even I did this to remember the RDS of vitamins, the normal serum values and other volatile points which I could not remember and made them into separate separate sheets so that I can revise all this matter just before the day of my exam. Making self notes. When I was telling you to practice flowcharts and cycles, I told you to keep a separate notebook and draw all the flowcharts and cycles. And now they will become your self notes. What you can do is you can write down all the enzyme defects just beside the enzymes in the cycles which you have drawn yourself. Don't explain the whole disease, you can just write the name of the disease which occurs due to that particular enzyme defect. By doing this, you are doing three things at once. One, you are learning all the flowcharts and cycles perfectly so that you can draw them in the exam hall very well. Second, you are associating all the matter which you have to write in the exam hall along with the flowchart. So, when you remember the flowchart or the cycle, you just draw that flowchart or cycle and start writing the text below it because you have associated all the text with it. And in the process, you are also making short notes for yourself which you can eventually revise just the day before your exam or whenever you want to revise the subject. So, when I tell you to make self notes, they don't have to be decorated with highlighters, perfect diagrams and four different pens. They have to be something which you make without wasting time as such but at the end of the day you have to be benefited from them. When I kept a separate notebook to practice all these flowcharts and cycles four to five times till I mastered them completely and I can draw them without seeing the textbook perfectly without any mistake. Now the scoring topics are done but does that mean you leave the low scoring topics and trust God to save you in the exam hall? No. And that brings me to my next point. Don't ignore the small topics. Biochem has way too many topics which you have to study and you may feel worked up from all those topics and you might want to leave some by reading the high scoring topics. But even though LAQs and SAQs may come from the high scoring topics, the rest of the paper is going to be from these low scoring topics. So we don't want to lose some crucial marks just because we did not prepare for it. So try to finish all the previous year questions from all the topics at least once before you go to your exam from YouTube lectures or any online handmade notes you can find so that you can write at least something instead of leaving the question completely blank. Revision Revision is something most of the students ignore in the hurry of completing the syllabus just one month before their exams but if you don't revise biochemistry, you won't be able to write even a single answer properly because you will mess up all the points and eventually between the exam you will lose your confidence and even if you know the answer you won't be able to write it just because you did not write the answers perfectly before. This thing has happened to me personally. I studied the whole syllabus for a biochemistry exam by staying up all night but I did not revise the whole thing and I ended up scoring 18 out of 100 in that exam. But thankfully, this wasn't the case in my finals. So if you don't want to end up failing your exam even though you have studied the entire syllabus, take a few minutes of your day, open the notebook in which you have practiced all the flow charts and cycles and start revising it every day. Read the flow charts and cycles and recollect all the matter and don't touch the textbook and start reading the whole matter again. And also revise those mini sheets or sticky notes which you have made for all the values, limits, drugs and other volatile points which you cannot remember because you can remember a volatile point only if you revise it multiple times. And trust me, revising biochemistry will increase your confidence by a lot because you know you have stayed in touch with the subject. And also I guarantee you, if you revise and practice enough, you will recollect everything very easily in the exam hall and you will write your paper very happily. Now, you have prepared all you can for this exam, but if you don't present it properly on the paper, you won't get the marks you deserve. And that brings me to my next point, paper presentation. Flowcharts and cycles are basically the cheat codes to score more marks in your university exams. So, no matter what the question is, try to present the matter in form of a flowchart and draw cycles wherever they are asked. You don't even have to write pages and pages of matter below that flowchart or cycle because once you draw a perfect flowchart or cycle, the examiner will get a very good impression on your paper and he will understand that you know the topic very well and even if you do some mistakes in the enzyme names or the text which you have written below the flowcharts, he will ignore that and he will give you very good marks in the paper. And whenever there is a clinical point related to that particular topic, at the end of the answer, write the clinical point related to that topic. Time management. Biochemistry can be very lengthy if you start writing everything you know in the paper. So keep in mind that a particular question can give you only a certain amount of marks. So instead of that, stay in track of time, draw good flowcharts, draw good cycles and write crisp points which the examiner wants to see and doing all this will eventually boost your score and also will save your time in the exam hall. 
and lastly have confidence because even i did not like biochemistry in my first year because i never understood it but i learned from my mistakes i started revising and practicing every single flow chart and cycles and i applied all these tips which i just gave you and i worked my way up to a distinction so remember that if i can do it you can also do it and that is it for this video if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i want to thank you all for the love you have shown in the last video and we also hit 500 subscribers on this channel i'm very thankful to all of you after anatomy video many of you commented that you want videos on other subjects also so that is the reason i made this video making this video takes up a lot of time from editing shooting scripting and doing all the work and you subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with your friends would make up for all of it all the best for your exams i hope you clear all the subjects with very good marks keep practicing and keep revising because nothing comes easy unless you work for it i am not here to give you tips like study for 2 hours or biochemistry is very easy you can understand it you will do it off you will pass i am not here to tell all that i have worked to get the marks i got and i am telling you to do the same practice and revise you will get your marks definitely see you in the next one thanks for watching bye